Please, music. A bailar, a bailar. What makes Colombian music distinct? I mean, it's it's got its own things. I mean, it's got the importance of the accordion, um, the tiple, which you do not find typically in, in other forms of Latin music. Um, the rhythms that are distinct, the vallenato rhythm is different from a Dominican merengue rhythm, is different from a, diff a Puerto Rican plena rhythm. There's just these subtle variations in the instruments and, and how they're played. It's important to get those right. You know, that's, that's, that's the fun of the, the specificity of writing music for this region. With Encanto, we've got a lot of family members. I think with every musical project I embark on, I'm trying to find the pulse of the characters, first and foremost. What is Mirabel's pulse? How is that different from Abuela's pulse? How is that different from Bruno's pulse? How is that different from Pepa's pulse? There are songs that are solo journeys. You know, when you hear from Mirabel's sister, Luisa, it's a very contemporary Colombian reggaeton sound because um, she's got this very cool, very tough exterior. And then I wanted to sort of peel away and deconstruct that over the course of the song. And then you have Isabella, who sounds like 90s rock and espanol. And then in the last song, I'm smashing those themes together. That's the fun of building a musical score, is when you find all those pulses, and then you start to have them sing in duets and trios, really interesting combinations and stuff start to pop up. The whole movie has this beautiful tapestry that feels like a very unique whole that couldn't have come from any other place. All of that together has created something that is really unique and really special and very specific, I think, both to region and also the experiences of the characters throughout the movie. Every song in this is going to be something you want to like listen to on the radio and like dance in your living room to because all of them have like amazing beats. They're really poppy and stand out. It doesn't sound like any other Disney movie. We were incredibly lucky to find Jermaine Franco to do the score for this film. Early on, we had initial discussions about what type of score they were looking for. And we talked about what would the sound of magical realism sound like. You, know, you read the stories of Gabriel Garcia Marquez and you go into those worlds and you think, how would the, what would this sound like? The first time Jermaine played us the main theme of the Encanto of that magic, I think the first thing we said was, that sounds like magical realism. I wanted to find la voz femenina, the feminine voice of the music of Colombia, because I feel that the voice of the Latina woman is very important in our society, in our world, because a lot of women in Latin America have been shouldering a lot of responsibility of working and taking care of their families. And I wanted to give that struggle and the persistence and the courage some sort of a voice through the music. certainly aware of her amazing work on Coco, but one of the things that Jermaine specializes in is blending all these different styles of music and different instrumentation into something truly wonderful, this tapestry that we needed for Encanto, Encanto's soundtrack, to the, to the point where she actually was ordering handcrafted marimbas from Colombia just for Encanto, uh, that she was unpacking the week of the score recording, which was incredible, the fact that she takes so much care uh, in what she does, and someone who had so much, so much personal investment in talking about this family in a musical way. What I did was just imagine a world beyond the world we live in now. And it's it, like there's another plane. And so in this, in this world, in the story, people have magical powers. And so it's, it's almost like another dimension of sound. Yeah. 